Hey guys, welcome back to Android game development tutorial. Today we're gonna see the basic programming with libgdx. So we're gonna see basics of display, the game class, screen implementation, and camera setup. Okay, we we'll see what's that. And first of all, I want you guys to make a copy of this flappy man to here. Yeah, so then I can easily get those things in the future development. Okay, fine. First of all, we got to delete this flappy man class, which is the by default okay fine and we got to create a new class so it should be the same name as it was before that file to create oh, sorry delete okay so we go to um, x extends okay so game is uh, uh, so to uh, solve these problems, you can easily do it by pressing Control plus one. So it will show you the things that you have to do. It's suggestions. So basically, game is a, like a thing which control your game. And in this game, you can set different screens now, as the game wants to set. First of all, if, if game want to set the welcome screen, then it want to play some other screen. And if you want to play some other screen, which gives the help or something like that. And everything can be set by this game. So game sets this each and every screens that you need. So we'll be doing that from here. And uh, first of all, some trouble is that yeah. And there is an on create method is done here. So what on create method is doing is actually if you when your game is loaded, this on create method will be doing everything. So the first thing that done by the game is doing the after created is the things that we are defining here in the on create method so that goes to the main activity so for when it's game it's in the flappy man android version in the package name there is a class called main activity dot java and if you take the android xml manifest xml uh, in that it's given this activity main activity is given so what actually we are doing we are telling the android version that there is an activity called main activity started in our app so uh, it has got some indent so, uh, this is name of indent main so it's like the, uh, the other one the type category this category is the launcher so what it means that whenever the app is started the main activity will be started this activity name main activity will be started the first when the app is started launched so this activity will be launched um, save it so after this is launched it will be starting a new configuration what configurations it skips all the things that like using of axrom if you are using axrom if you are using the graphics so these things will be specified under this configuration cfg uh, we can create and it's created uh, and it's initialized so we will be using this graphics so we want to change it to so now the flappy flappy man it's loaded in the flappy man first of all you have to set the screen so it's only now the game is loaded and game it will be setting a screen we want it to be a welcome screen so set screen welcome screen it's a constructor of the welcome screen and we want this this means we are passing our game parameter game as parameter for the welcome screen constructor okay, we will be seeing what it really means so man yeah got it so so this uh, yeah so there's a job is there we will be doing that we will be constructing the constructor for the welcome screen public screen yes. Okay. So. No, I didn't know that. It's this thing there. Okay, we want this. Yeah. What is actually K? Actually, it's white, so not some trouble over here. Yeah. 
Okay. Change to construct. Yeah. We oh yes, this is misspelled. Okay, game. And it will be asking to import the game logic. Yeah, we will be importing the game logic. Yes, that's it. And we have to pass this as this game as an argument. So we are getting this. So what basically a screen is it's something that we screen see on a game so game game class can set any screen that it wants so first we want to see the welcome screen that's why we set the welcome screen so this screen is inherited and this inherited there are a lot of functions uh methods are implemented see a render method so what render method is doing we see a float delta so delta is a time it's a float delta is a small amount of very very small amount of time that we're going to use in our game so within this time this uh, method will be running and running running over and over so every time uh, every uh, after every interval of delta this function method will be running done so we have to specify some things okay before that we have to make version game game so install uh, game uh, yes so sorry okay this, this okay fine so what so we have to make uh, so in this render we'll define two functions that's one is update that's having a parameter delta and control to have a parameter delta so so we have to create a method in row and we have to create a method delta so in this update method we'll be updating whatever things we want to show those things those logical things will be updated here will be given in this method and the draw method what we have to draw in this Welcome screen. So we will be having some buttons or text in this uh, draw method. So we will specify this. First of all, we want to make a camera. So what camera is for? Orthographic camera. So camera. Uh, earlier I have told you guys that we need to be worrying about the things like uh, displaying our game in different devices what's the resolution will be those we need to be worrying about those things actually this camera when we are setting this camera this gdx will be doing all those things as required so we are to initialize uh, graphic camera hmm. uh, change structure camera Camera dot uh, set to ortho. It's like y down. So we have to find what y down is for. Actually, when we, our images are like this, it will be x direction from it will be zero and it will be going increasing like here. And it will be y direction and from to here it will be increasing. It's usually our images are like this, but actually when this GDX, libgdx, it's not taking the images like this, it's taking different way. So what it actually libgdx is doing, it will be taking its images as like this, X and Y. So, so we got to specify these things for using this direction and this is increasing that. So we have to specify our libgdx. Is that we are they, we are also providing our images like that way. So, so we have to uh, put it to yeah. We'll be shifting our images. So we put width. So it's a standard thing that GDX libgdx has to. So the camera has to optimize our game for the other devices. So actually, um, we just want to be for it. It's some. It look like some standard value. So every device will be configured when this game is loading every device will be configured for this value so everything will be adjusted every graphics will be adjusted in that way for that devices so it's going to be great if we have to make a sprite batch sprite batch and usage batch what sprite batch so sprite batch is something which we want to shift our every 
every graphics we are drawn or every sprites we are drawn we'll be pushing those sprites to the sprite spat and and sprite spats will be configured to the camera so everything will be all set okay, this, this. Mm -hmm. splash when do we get okay fine. now we got to draw everything so first of all we got to draw the screen gdx dot gl dot uh, uh, gl clear clear color okay you have to set the color for this first red button and remember this is the inside float so we put we just get a plain yeah one 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 so you got a white color then we have to set the buffer even for the rest. just do this just do it blindly we know it This general procedure. So we have to now update the camera okay. for this thing. Yeah, it will update it. For and we have to push these things camera settings to the batch. So, so this function, where are you, buddy? Where are you, buddy? Things set set protection. Oh, here, yeah, you have to set this thing then. Not combined yeah so basically so we have to what we would do is you now batch dot begin so inside this everything that we want to draw will be dot and yeah everything that we want to be and yeah then things we want to show you yeah everything that's gonna be coming between begin and end that should be drawn. So we'll be doing later. So we wanna know what's happening now. What's the so I want to check whether our code works or not. It's not this thing. You have to run the main activity. Yeah, it's an Android application. Okay. Um, oh I think we forgot to determine the system conclusion is really good here. Android. Of oh, yeah, yes, yes, just the trouble. No, man, it's too bad. Just leave those things. So, um, configurations, take them configuration target. Then, see them like this. Right. Yeah. It's pretty okay. Now, I am, as I told before, if you have installed the US, Google USB driver, your device will be showing it now. Uh, so, I am connecting my phone. Skip. Nice. Okay. So functions. Yeah, it's showing now. So uh, yeah. Just run this. I think to be installed, yeah. It's being installed to my system. Yeah, it's installed. Okay, I will show you what it looks like. Yeah. Yes, man. Yes. Okay. Select. Yeah. yeah, here is our guy. Is a libgdx and this touching it, opening it. Yeah, so it's a white screen. As I told, as we programmed it, so we got it cut. 
so you guys know how to do it so we'll be doing this we'll be doing this thing every time you know okay thank you yeah man. okay so thank you stay tuned this is for enough stay tuned peace and love